So a quick recap of what we've done previously. We pre-process our data to create a CSV file that we use in our random forest in QGIS. We also ran the random forest model. We also validated our model using different methods. We visual we created the raster stack and visualized it in R. So the random forest model and the raster stack we exported into file and these are the doc these are the data we are going to use to fit our model so let us proceed to r so the first thing is to input import our data back these are the two data we exported previous in the previous steps we can also inform the computer that we have three six cores to use in the processing Basically, why we do this, I will explain earlier, later, is to mainly is to is to speed up our processing. So we prepare our data. We ask the computer to stack our input. So let us have a look at this data set just to be sure that everything is in order sometimes it's important to do this so just to be sure that we have all the required data set and it is in the right format so we have the like i showed earlier in the previous steps we have our variable important data So let's just have a look at our data set again. Yes, we have this. Then let's print our stack and also just have a quick look at what we have. Okay, we have 17 day we have 17. We have it's a raster stack. Yes, that is what we we supposed to have. Then the resolution is 30 by 30, the projection and every other information that we need so we are rest assured that we have the required data to use for our work so now that we are sure that we have the appropriate data the next thing is to add names to it um if you remember, previously i mentioned that when we were creating our stack we need to ensure that the, we create the stack the stack follows the same the the variables in the stack follows the same pattern as we had in the random forest the reason for this is because we are going to be combining them together and where we had the name so that was why i mentioned that we must ensure that the pattern of the stack is the same as we have it in our random forest is because of this stage here that we are going to um we are going to run now then we should we are going to split our stack into block sizes this advantage of this is to is to to make the processing faster so that we can be done as soon as possible because sometimes you may have a very large data set so if you create block, if you put them, you create block sizes for them, it's faster, it's faster the processes and you could finish so that you can finish earlier. So that's what we are doing now. Then we have to create the temporary data where we are going to save the prediction. So we have the, we create the CSV file. After that, we have to computer to detect our calls and then to assign these calls to each processor for each process. So let us run this process in parallel. So it, what it does is that it runs for each brick, it runs it in parallel. So basically the, the, the reason for this is just to fasten our process. 
So in each parallel, this is what it does. So I will show you the CSV file for this. Um, this usually takes a while, depending on your on your data set, on la how large your data set is. So while this runs, I will show you that what it does as well. So let's just have a look at this window. So while it runs, it creates um, predicted CSV files for us. So let's just hold on. I will not pause the video so that we can see how it creates this CSV files as it runs. Because the CSV files is where we have the predictions for each um, cell. So you can see it has started creating these predictions for us. I just want us to have a look at how this is done. So that is why, okay, you can see it has started creating this. This usually takes some time, so let us hold on for it to complete. When it completes, we will open the CSV file just to see what we have in it. So it has completed. So let us open one of the CSV files. So this is one of the CSV files. And the, what we have here is the prediction for each pixels, what is predicted for each pixels. But what we have here is just um, for all the files we have, it has values like this. So this is basically just... Um, the values in table so we need to write these values to the raster data set so the next thing now is for us to read our csv data That is the X that we are predicting. Like I showed in the um, Excel document, the X were the predictions that we saw zero point something values. So we need to add it to our raster. So let us plot our prediction map here first so here is our prediction map for easier visualization we will go to qgis so let us first of all export it so 